Hello again, whiskey friends. Thanks for joining us live today, everybody. We got a very special Whiskey Wednesday plan tonight. We have been talking about this for, gosh, maybe a month or two at this point. But it's going to be a special head-to-head, back-to-back live stream with Jason C. from the Mash and Drum. So what we're going to do on this channel is actually make some blends on the fly. And we are going to try to create the best blend we can. And then on Jason's channel, we're going to blend all of these blends and do a blind and see who emerges as of making the best blend. The other fun part of this, and we'll go over this in just a second, the four bottles that we will be blending are available bottles. So you might have these on your shelf already if you haven't seen some of our posts over the last couple of weeks trying to advertise this so that you can get them. So without further ado, let's kick off the show. Let's kick off Whiskey Wednesday. Thanks for joining, everybody. We got a lot to get through tonight. And then if you are in Todd's giveaway for our craft whiskey sample, be sure to be here at the end of the night because we are going to draw names for that for the prize winner of who has been answering the trivia questions right the last couple of weeks. So be sure to stick around for that prize. Let's introduce everybody else here. We're going to start out with the whiskey saint himself who has already run out of breath singing happy birthday songs tonight so let's bring in Darrell maybe he'll sing for us as well no you'll definitely hear my kids for the next two minutes singing in the background I'll tell you that <laughs> but cheers everybody for joining us man this one's gonna be a fun one um, it's gonna be loud for the next like three minutes or so but I promise it's gonna get a little quiet and you'll be able to hear me but, um yeah thanks for join joining in um I love blending I know pretty much all of us like blending so this this should definitely be a fun two streams so sit with us, relax, pour a couple. If you got the bottles, join in. Let me give the ratios. Other than that, man, cheers. All right. And then we'll bring in Kelsey here. Now, everybody, Kelsey has upgraded his lighting, and he is really proud of it, and he's really liking the way that his entire room is popping. So in chat, you just don't let him know that I said anything, but please compliment his lighting. Let's bring in Kelsey. What's up, guys? Good to see everybody. This is gonna. I've been waiting this for this for about a month, a month and a half, and I'm so excited. I could was trying to think of everything as I was going through the day, like what I was gonna do. So, should be a lot of fun to uh, try to take down the champ, the the, the originator of Linda Geddon himself. So we'll see what happens. Anything is we're always uh, competitive until we lose, is what Jeff said. So. <laughs> Well, speaking of lighting, Jason's been figuring out his lighting here. I think he's figured it out. Just a second ago, though, Jason was using uh, night vision mode. So he entirely planned to blend without being able to see any of the bottles. That is how confident he is going into this. So let's bring in the, uh, man, Matt Madness contender here. Ooh, is that Friday, too? That's coming yes. up, I think. Oh, Friday. man, got a lot going on this week. Let's see if he can get through us first. Let's bring on Jason. Yeah, guys, don't don't ruin my mojo. <laughs> <laughs> we we got to knock you down a few pegs right before. That way you work extra hard. Right? Yeah, yeah, apparently. Um, <laughs> thanks for having me on, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this. Um, I am. Uh, I wanted to use this camera angle. My my other camera is charging before the live stream at nine. Where we're all going to be heading over after this. I also wanted to kind of you know, show the platform and show the blending process. So, Oh, see, you can't even see what I'm doing. I've already made all my blends. I'm just going to be acting like I'm doing things over here, but I've got it all perfected already. Oh, so you're, so you're a cheater then. You're a cheater? Okay. Yeah, you can't see anything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got no proof. You got no proof. Noted. noted. Uh, everybody watching, cheater. <laughs> got him. 
Um, oh, geez. Now, there was a poll I saw, Jason, speaking of Matt Madness. Matt dropped a poll earlier to see who uh, who's going to be the favorite going into this. I didn't I didn't even see the poll. So uh, I, I would imagine that, you know, everyone else other than me are the favorites. Uh, no, you not by far. 50 to 60 percent of the votes last time I saw amongst the four. Yeah. So, Seriously? Once yeah. again, no pressure. That's that's surprising. OK. No, you got a lot of people pulling for you. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah, it's a little weird going there because I went from like just completely shitting the bed and, you know, now I'm calling bottles and I, I, I definitely think my strategy this year definitely helped. I think not being in this room and being in like other locations definitely have helped me like just focus in on what's on my glass. And uh, I think that's really honestly, that's just been the biggest difference. So. Yeah, don't get your head and stare at all the bottles around you and try to associate them, right? That's the yeah, that's the thing. But then, but now, now Matt like throws in the other twist where you know he does blinds where everything's the same bottle. So now that's in my head. I'm like, that's what happened last week. I'm like, I'm just gonna, I I kind of figure they were all Heaven Hill, but I, you know what, Larceny Barrel Proof, I totally forgot about. I'm just like a lot of Craig Barrel Proof. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's you almost what I need going into this. You it's like a list that. of all the bottles. That way I don't forget things. Yeah, yeah. So it'll it'll be interesting to see what Matt has in store for us when it comes to not only the hardcore questions, but the uh, but just to see what he sends, like sample wise. Like it, it could be all over the map. Um, I'm actually hoping it is. I, I'm, you know, as much as I do enjoy when he does, you know, the same bottles. I really do hope it's it's like a, an array of stuff that we can really try to pick out that challenges us. I think it'd be pretty cool, but. We'll see what he sends. You never know with Matt. <laughs> I'm hoping for all Dickle Tabasco. <laughs> <laughs> That's always my hope. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, let's say hi to people. We got 47 people in here already. Let's get into the chat here. Just say hi to people real quick. Five fingers giving us a high five. Cheers. Hey, Gandy Road. Cheers, buddy. Roy R does cocktails. Thanks for joining again this week. Ricardo Carroll. Cheers, cheers. Top dog. Oh, man. Good to see you in here, buddy. Mike Franklin. Katie Turk. Oh, yeah. We, gosh, we hung out like for five hours on Monday. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Fifth quarter tailgate. Cheers, Scott. Got Brian in here, too. Ben Dramon. All right. Peter B. and Deborah C. Why don't you take over for a few here, Kelsey? All right. Uh, looks like Peter White. I don't remember you saying his name. Thank you. I need you need sunglasses. I need to turn down the brightness. It's a little bit too bright. <laughs> Mark Mace. Thanks, man. Uh, Fancy Francie. I can never say this name. Fancy Franchi. Good to see you, Maureen. Uh, Ethan... Good to see you in here, buddy. Shauna Marie D. My our down south friends in Louisiana. Doug H. I was sipping on some JT Mellick earlier, some new rice whiskey. Um, let's see who else if I had said. Oh, Adam Shelton. Cheers, buddy. Good to see you in here. And the man, the myth, the legend himself. Blending Getting Champion. Not seeing any Blending Getting Champions in this panel. Well, thanks, Todd. <laughs> You're you know, the only Todd, one, buddy. <laughs> I said the same thing to Jason. I, I have gotten further in Blendageddon, so is Darrell, than Jason ever has in his entire life. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's see. We got Jason. Uh, my buddy Jason Norseman's only drams in here. Uh, let's see. Bradley. What's going on, Brad? Good to see you in here, buddy. Uh, Jen A. Cheers. Good to see you, Jen. And John Cloud. Good to see you in here. I think you already hey, said man. Sugar Kitty, but cheers, Sugar Kitty. And I think we're getting close to getting caught up. Cool running. And, oh, my goodness, everybody stop what you're doing. The man himself. I'm sure he'll be coming up with some really <laughs> great pictures from this. Somebody said Dickel Tabas Tabasco. Yeah. DC is the king of – what was his call, Jason, that he sent? Didn't he make a dis Dickel uh, Tabasco single barrel or something yeah, like that? Yeah, the, the, uh, the Dick Burns. The Dick Burns. Dick uh, Burns. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
gosh. I think we're caught up almost one more cast. And Cheech Adelino. Amazing. Good to see you, buddy. And Mr. Great Shot. I think we're caught up, man. And I seen Dunny. Cheers to uh, Dunny is in here as well. Yes, yeah. so I did. Sorry, I missed that one. Copper Wolf. Copper Wolf. Hey, Ryan. I think John Cloud. Uh, actually, no. What? Making his round yeah, of meet John this past week. week. Nice to meet you in person. Nice. <clears throat> All, All right, right, Jeff, you want to uh, kick us off on what we're doing and how we're going to start this? Bless you. Bless you. Yeah, let's uh, let's kick this off here. We'll talk to chat throughout. But we have four bottles planned for tonight's blind. Each of us picked a bottle here. So why don't we go around and say the bottle that we picked, if you can remember. Kelsey, why don't we start with you? Uh, mine was easy. I stole Jason's. Uh, wild turkey rare breed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. So these literally, four bottles are going to be literally the first, the literally the first one in the group chat. Wild turkey rare breed. My, my. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in my in my list too. What are you doing? So, Jason, what was your backup then? What's bottle? So, uh, I think the bottle that um, I think actually does really well in blinds, um, blind tastings, and I actually have used this before. In blends, I think it works well as a certain component. Uh, and that's the old forest 100 true signature. Oh, yeah, nice. Yep, there we go. I mean, it's a 23, it's a 23, 24 dollar bottle, and it's it's great for the money. Now, no one can accuse me of cheating, I haven't even opened these yet. <laughs> I just cracked three of them. We don't know that we don't know those aren't backups. <laughs> I'm just sitting around with backups of old Forester 100. I got an old faithful myself. Little Woodford Double Oak is what I picked. Mm. I just love I love this in cocktails. I love it, you know, mixed with even like a Pepsi or a cola. Just that nice double oak comes out um when you're mixing the drinks. Yes. And I decided just to cause chaos, so I picked a finished weeder on top of everything. Yeah, let's dude. get some what Maker Forty Six in there. What are you doing? Let's make yeah, some four grain <laughs> blends, guys. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had the old Forest though, or that Maker's Mark, so this should be interesting. Come on, Jason. If I have a choice, I pick chaos. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. All right. Let me see. Now, uh, if you have problem, these man. bottles, be sure to follow along at home. Blend yourself if you want to have some fun with us. And when we do jump over to Jason's channel a uh, little after nine, we'll give you the recipes for all of these as we're making them so that you can make them and follow along as well. But we will be blinding our creations. Each of us gets one submission, the best thing we can do. But we'll then blind those on Jason's channel later. Yep. So we're so we're basically all of right now. We're gonna, just gonna work on our blends, and we're gonna figure out one or two top ones, and then then on my channel we will actually make those blends, blind them, and see who wins. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, it is. Yes. I uh, love it. Okay. All right. I see you. I see you. <laughs> yeah, I got four different um, like ratios for what I want to do. So four different blends, and I'll see which ones out of the four I think is best, and probably kind of roll from there. Probably yeah, I think I'm gonna. Better. Yeah, I think I'm gonna roll with four and then go from there and see what we got. So I'm thinking so too. Now, Jason, you've been talking a lot lately about uh, the Nancy Fraley method. Do you want to explain her pyramid a little bit, kind of your methodology, what you're going to do? Yeah. So uh, I, I went back into the, uh, to the archives to, uh, <laughs> to look at the first time. Well, actually, I think it was the second time Nancy was on where we did. Uh, this is when we sat down and we literally blended cigar blend. And there was yeah. there was a lot of folks with some really cool questions about blending and picking the barrels and how it's constructed. So she's so she basically you know was saying like in the blend community you have um, you know you have people that generally use the pyramid method where uh, if you split a, a pyramid uh, into three e not three equal parts but three parts where you have your bottom period your base your base uh, whiskey. Uh, that is a whiskey that's normally uh, kind of, I'm not going to say standard, but maybe just something that's just good, you know, your solid like caramel vanillas, nothing. I'm just going to talk in, in, in bourbon terms here. 
Uh, nothing that has anything, you know, off the off the beaten path. Just a very solid whiskey. That's going to be your your base. And maybe it just needs something. Maybe it's missing something. Um, so that's your base of your pyramid. Then the second part of the pyramid. Now you're looking to add some nuance to it. You're asking. You're asking. You're you're looking to, like, it, like normally normally that base one won't really have much of a finish, or say it's a little bit too thin or it's just missing something. That's what you look to add in that second part of the pyramid, which will be a little bit less of that bottom part of the pyramid. And then that first, and then the tip of the pyramid, you're basically looking to add any, anything else that you think the other whiskeys can add to the experience, whether it be a, a note you're looking for, whether it be citrus or dark fruit, you could kind of mess with that in those bottom pyramid in the top of the pyramid. So just a, when she was explaining it, it was it was cool to just kind of listen and hear how that methodology works. So um, I have I have like two blends in mind that I'm going to work with that. And then I have like a reverse pyramid, an upside down pyramid I'm going to try. <laughs> I feel like Jason's then going to submit his blend. He's just going to be like 100% of the rare breed. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, it's all rare breed, guys. Just saying right now. Now, Jason, one thing I am looking for here at the end in terms of uh, the measurements and giving us your recipe, uh, try to make essentially make 20 milliliters as yes. your base and mm -hmm. then give me the components from there. You know, it's four milliliters, this 3.5, that however precise you need to get. But that's what I'll then enter into the spreadsheet to then give the recipe to everybody else to make two ounce pours. Got it. All right, guys. Well, well, let's get to blending. We are good. We'll try to keep up with chat, too. I know it's going to be a little tough doing this, but we'll make it work, guys. Yeah, we'll take turns, North we'll take turns scanning it here. Right. Northwest Bourbon just jumped in, and also Jerry Black. Good to see you guys. So double this last. Okay. Yeah, Deathless Dogs in here. Cheers, Dan. Got Ethan in here. And then uh, let us know, um, you know, who you're rooting for in this in this competition here. Now I'm wondering. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a glutton for punishment. Let's start a poll, guy. Let's do a poll. <laughs> Got Justin Jenkins. Cheers, buddy. Oh, yeah. Let's go with that base. All right, what are the four bourbons again? So I'll do a, a quick recap. So the four bourbons, once again, if you happen to have these, follow along. We got yeah, guys, wild like, yeah, join, join in and, uh, and you know, definitely do this along with us because I think it, it makes the most fun when uh, you guys can do this at home and you guys might find a better blend than we do. Who knows? Yeah. So we got the wild turkey rare breed. The Old Forester 100. The Woodford Reserve Double Oak. Keep in mind, none of these are store picks as we go through this, especially, particularly that Double Oak. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Makers 46. Jeff using store picks now. Unbelievable. <laughs> Anything for an edge. I don't think that's not going to help me because then I'm tasting it and you're not. <laughs> oh, one more cast says all of us are so nice he can't choose between us. Aw. All right. I'm gonna get to blending here. All right, guys. I gotta two? ask. I gotta ask, what do you think of uh Marianne Eves's new news on her release? I'm worried it's gonna be a flop, is what I'm worried about. So you know, just because, you know, I review and i curious. I ordered one. Mm -hmm. I pre-ordered one to check it out, see what it is. But I, like, not since Blue Run have I heard so much marketing bullshit in that announcement. <laughs> wow. Right? Wow. Wow. That's all I'm going to say. I'll I'll cover it more in, uh, later um, when yeah, we're live on my channel. Not, but, I oh, it sounds heard. like we're on the same page there, Jason, with that one, I would think. Yeah, like, dude, like, wow, like, I, oh my, I wonder if the Blue Run people wrote this for her. This is nuts. <laughs> now, I do have a lot of, um, 
a faith in uh yeah what bar what's coming out of bardstown bourbon company so yes 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 that, that'd be the thing that when i read that press release the thing that stuck out to me like okay where's she getting this from oh okay it's getting coming out of bardstown let's see what let's see what that is well yeah i mean this is some of the stuff that she distilled the castle and key was in there too and i'm like well i mean she left so did she do it before she left so i, I know a lot of people were trying to figure out the math um it sounds like but, an old elk situation yeah, <laughs> it kind of is a whole other situation. But I mean, either way, I thought it was interesting, you know, the release and all that other stuff that uh, that went on with it. Um, I was like, man, it, they're really uh, pushing this one. So I, I just I just don't like when you use terms like um, reinventing or forbidden, like it's never been done before. It's like, let's let's be real, guys. People have been distilling whiskey. Like back in the day, like in the 1800s when people were making bourbon, it was innovative. Like what you're doing now is not innovative. It's just making it a little bit better. <laughs> it's like I, I don't I don't understand all that, but and just because you're using white corn, like you know, when culinary grade corn and stuff, I don't see why that is so groundbreaking, but okay. It was it was white corn and was it the red wheat, red turkey yeah. wheat? Yeah. Red, yeah, white corn and the, some red red wheat or white wheat thing. And I, I, don't know, I have all the details on on, uh, on my channel here, but it's crazy. Um, yeah. So, oh yeah, that's a good question, Jeff. You have to use every. You have to use all four bottles, right? Yes, yeah. correct. Yes. Okay. Yep. Look, Eric Sawyer, the most recent blend again champion. He's very curious. He's he's gonna sit at home, blend this, and probably beat us all. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was the deal with the uh, um, Augusta Distillery? Did you see that one, Jason? Jason? Yes. Um, Sealbox 13 year. Yeah, yeah. Has, yeah, the hazmat one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so Augusta already was extremely, <clears throat> you know, already overly expensive for what it was. I mean, they were selling 13 year single cat. I mean, Jeff, no, you saw them around. When did we start seeing those in Ohio? It was like two, was it last year or the year before? It was 2021. Yeah. We started seeing them up mid-2021. Yeah, it was like it was like a 13-year, you know, Barton sourced uh Augusta for 250 bucks. And even at that price, I didn't want to buy it. Um and I know there's some weird stuff going on, like where people think this one's coming from, especially when it said hazmat. Do we know where it's coming from? Uh, I think it's, I don't know. Someone said heaven Hill. Some people are saying other places. I don't know. Um, apparently I don't think it's Barton, but I mean, it could be. Has Barton ever really got that high? That's what I'm thinking. That's why I don't think it's Barton. Uh. Huh. How much is that bottle? It has Five, $500 they're charging. Oh God, Jesus. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's a couple of releases like that that I've seen recently. The um old uh old Louisville did one that's uh over at Party Source. It's like four four fifty. And I think it's a sixteen year hazmat MGP, just like the uh Fourgate release was. Oh shit. And how much was that? Four to four fifty. Shit. Safe to go with hazmat MGP. <laughs> At least you know what it is. Um, so that's my I mean, honestly, honestly, I thought the uh, 10 year MGP release from Fourgate was better than the Hazmat one. I only had a small sample of the Hazmat. Um, I remember it being really, really good. Um, I had that 10 year yesterday, which was pretty damn good. I put it, put it up against a 10 year in Nashville barrel pick like, that I got yesterday. Like I just think, I just think for the money, I think the 10 year was. You know, just as good as that. I think the hazmat one. It was so it was so high in proof. It was. Uh, I don't know. It just it lost a little something for me. So. Gosh, yeah. It diminished the age of it a little bit. I think it so was too. Overly felt... bright for what it was, but I still liked it quite a bit. Oh no! I, yeah, I mean, you're not gonna. I still liked it a lot, but I, I just I didn't think like I thought the ten year was a lot closer to it than I thought it would get. 
you know. Gotcha. All right. Now, Adam Shelton asked a question there. I think it what was uh, about Justin's House of Bourbon. If you saw the news there, I mean, the news I saw on that was pretty much it was much to do about nothing in there. That whole story. Yeah, I mean, they basically they basically admitted that what they did, you know. So nothing, no harm, no foul, I guess. I mean, they never even stopped running in business, right? It's always been going even after all that. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, they put out some good stuff too, though. Hey, Hendo, cheers, buddy. What's up, Hendo? Yeah, and Ryan's a good dude. So if this is all behind him now, I'm, I'm, I hope it is. So you know. So yep, three thousand dollars in fines. That's yeah, that's it. that is that is not bad. Get out of there. Move on. Yep, oh, that's nothing. Don't do it again. Peace. <laughs> so right. Dunny has a question here. Ethan was talking about this earlier. Um, found North release tomorrow. Yeah, they're releasing another single barrel tomorrow. Um, uh, I, you know, being single barrels, it's hard to give insights because you know they're single barrels. Uh, I know some of their finishes have gotten really, gotten really, really good. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's it's hard to. I'm trying to I'm trying to think what the, what was going to be the uh, the actual. Uh, let's see here. Oh, just a cash strength rye after twelve months of further maturation in X sherry. This presentation is going from fig jam rye spice of his time. We bought, okay, so this is a sherry finish, sherry finish single barrel. Oh man, I might I might get that. Some of the, some of their finishes I heard are really hitting. You guys, have any interest in, you guys have any interest in that one or no? The cherry? It it sounds really good to me, but I just don't know. I don't know how that's going to blend with what they've currently been doing. But, I mean, it sounds very interesting. I love well, the I mean, cognac uh, that they did. But. Yeah. I mean, the cherry finished rye. I mean... I mean, we, I mean, we've had those with, uh, with Starlight, and they're pretty damn good. So, interesting to see how that one yeah. is. I don't know. What a... Oh, yeah, the sherry, the one we did was sherry finish, wasn't it? Oh, no, but was it a bourbon, the Starlight we did? The yeah, sherry, 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 yeah, She's My Sherry Pie was a bourbon. bourbon. Yeah, the only sherry rye I can think of is the uh, Adelusha Key rye. That's also with rum, too, from Fourgate. Well, and let's not forget about the Sagamore. Oh, and the Sagamore one. Oh, oh and then, the, and then yeah. of course, the new Riff Malted Rye. Yeah, there same, you go. Yeah. yeah. yeah this is why I can't do the blinds. I can't even remember my favorite bottle. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, I need a list. <laughs> um, all right, here. Let me see. All right, I need to pour these out here, but I need to label them real quick. So we got so I made my four. We got a few questions right here. Let's see. You've already oh, made uh, your floor? Damn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yandy Road had a comment that pretty much fits what I'm going through so far. I can't see where it is, but he's like, first blend. Not great. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree with that. First blend. Not great. Okay. Well, at least he's at least he's honest. But yeah, now that you guys have blended some and you got to mix through these, how are you feeling about your blend so far? I'll tell you the nose on one of them in particular is beating the rest, but I haven't tasted them yet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I trying to let these sit as much as I can before I dive in, but we'll see what happens here. So this is one, that's two. So I'll leave those aside. I'll do three and four here. I've been doing small previews just to see if um if I want to dig deeper on something or not. But as Darrell was saying, the noses on these have actually been really good so far. I just haven't gotten what I want out of the palette yet. Well, man, I gotta tell you, my first, my first, the first one I I blended smells freaking fantastic. Me uh, too. I'm right there with you. All right, so let's see here. That's the one that's all rare breed. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> exactly, Jason. That's just why it's killing for me. <laughs> all rare breed. All right, let's see here. Um, all right, yeah, I think I was gonna switch this up and see what we do here. Okay. 
Yeah, people talking about the found north here. The cognac was amazing. I agree with that. Yeah, and I, I've said like when Scott and I did our pick, the the cognac, the three finishes we got were not great. We were like, these are not ready for prime time yet. So if anyone picks these, I'm not buying it because these are not ready yet. But I guess last year, as they got older, they they got a lot better. So I'm glad glad to see that. Oh jeez. Um... Hmm. This is so tough, though. So one thing um, we did over my birthday weekend, which was real fun. There's a place down in Covington now that's letting you um, essentially do your own blends. And they had some actually pretty good barrels. We got to yeah. blend uh, the blending experience. They, they, they weren't allowed to disclose the distilleries. But once they tell me the states and the mash bills, it doesn't you know leave too much to... Uh, to the to imagination <laughs> but they uh it was a seven year mgp that we were blending with um uh, a neely bourbon uh something from louisiana i can never remember the name and then uh a, a jim beam so we got to kind of make our own blend out of that but dana made a blend that was so good that i sat there for a half hour trying to beat it and i couldn't and everybody in the party was just kind of looking at me like all right tap out jeff you're done. So then we bought Dana. Dana made the blend. Dana made the blend. It's really good. Damn girl. <laughs> but man, we are intense in it here. Everyone's got their, crazy. Everyone's got their tur turkey basters out going through this. Yep. You know, oh. Eric, I was debating something like that, but that actually ended up being one of my least favorites. Not to give anything away to anybody else. Jeez. <laughs> What'll be interesting is, like, as we go through this, you know, whoever has the winning blend will be like somebody else's reject blend. And like, darn it, I should have submitted that one. <laughs> that that reach, yeah. Ooh. All right. Got one more that I'm going to do left. What is everybody else drinking in the chat? If you guys are sipping on something, what are you guys drinking tonight? Yeah, what are you drinking with us here? All right, let's start tasting these. Oops, sorry. Concentration faces all around. I know, right? <laughs> this is hard stuff, man. This blending is. All right, One Jeff, more didn't, Jeff, Jeff, you didn't cue up any like intense drama, like action music in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Just the Mission Impossible music over and over again. Yeah, yeah basically. Ooh, that one right. was pretty good. Oh, that's not bad for the first one. Okay. Yeah, right? Hmm. Look at you guys sipping with confidence. I love it. <laughs> well, it tastes good. <laughs> just don't know if it's going to taste better than everybody else. <laughs> We're just happy we made something all right. <laughs> I'm trying to get different glens that have different uh, logos so I know which one is which when I'm blending them. I just cut like the labels that I sent you guys in half yeah. and just labeled the bottom. That's a good idea. The bottom of the eight glens. That's in my closet somewhere underneath a whole bunch of shit. So we're we're gonna go with these glasses. It's all right. <laughs> Anybody else uh, in the chat doing some blending? I gotta know. <clears throat> we have at least two people blending based on what I could see. That one might make me a little sick, sugar kitty. Isla. Ooh, I'm yeah, allergic to pee. Nobody oh, Kelsey, uh, I just got that. Um, uh, what the hell was that whiskey you were telling me about? The the rice, the, the melic, the melic. Yeah, the melic. Yep. Yeah, I just got that bottle. I didn't. I have not tried it yet, but I did get a bottle. Just did you that, get the small I, batch or the single barrel? I got that single barrel that dropped on seal box. Nice. You know, and that, you said that was the same one you had, right, Kelsey? Yeah, Justin's house of bourbon. You mean? Oh, the just yeah, Jason. we talked about Justin's. That's oh yeah, right. might, yeah, might be that one. That's right. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, I've not cracked into it yet, but I think I found something. 
Oh yeah, Vic. Hmm. I think I, I think I struck oil. At least on the nose. I've been loving these noses. Yeah, the nose. Yeah, two of these in particular, man. And I was really hoping someone would pull out like a giant turkey baster to start blending with that. <laughs> oh, hmm. That kind of felt flat. So, Jason, are you are you excited to be hanging out? We're like uh, nine days away. He's I can't believe focused. I can't believe it's that close. Yeah, next wait, Thursday wait. for well, next Thursday for me. Wait, wait, wait. We're talking about the uh, the hard truth pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. <laughs> nine days away. Hell yeah, I cannot wait for that. I. Dude, I am just – I cannot wait to, like, run through that warehouse and just see <laughs> what we're going to taste, man. I, I can't wait. Oh, man. So to fill everybody in for the uh, Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, Darrell and I got the honor of going to Hard Truth with Jason and everybody to pick a barrel of rye. Now, I take it it's probably just the, um, the mash bill number one. Jason, do I got that? Yeah, it is. It is a ingrained. sweet mash rye. So if you guys want a uh, caramel malt, don't ask. I can I, still I ask, right? I mean, we could maybe taste it, but I don't know if they're going to have it for us, like as a selection. But um, yeah, I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely excited about that one, man. Just to just to hang out with you guys in a Rick house and drink some barrels, and and this is your first pick, right, Jeff? This will be my first in person pick. Jason. Yeah, because we oh, this is your first in person pick? Yeah. Oh man, we're taking we're doing video montages. <laughs> I'm gonna bring the camera with me. See if I can get the vlog going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these guys have all met me before. They know I'm a hugger. It's going down. <laughs> oh man. All right. I'm gonna see if any of these four work here. Jeez, I hope this one's good. This one smells freaking fantastic. I am still cracking up though about the um, the the itinerary and the order of things. It's like, <laughs> come here, do your tasting, and then let's do an ATV tour. <laughs> Toshi, you're gonna have to let us know because you're probably one of the only ones within here that got it. Oh, Toshi Bake did buy one. Oh my god, <laughs> he's an animal. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't touching that. I mean. Oh man, this is like like I know I know like multiple multiple guys that complain about the prices of source whiskey, but then you throw a hazmat label on it and they're willing to drop you know four or five hundred bucks in a bottle. It's crazy. It's like I, I mean I get it, but the the allure of hazmat though, like it is there is something to be said. Hazmat, it has to taste good too. <clears throat> yep, there's something to be said for hazmat. Did you guys get all of your four of your blends done, or are you still working? I got my four. I haven't tasted them yet. I'm going to let them mingle here and see where we go. Add one. What? I think I'm going to add like a fifth um, blend. He's going to add a fifth. So, okay. My strategy was to find a base that I really liked, <clears throat> and now I'm doing kind of um, half Tweaking. proportions based on that base. So now I'm finally getting to the point where I'm mixing the ones I want to compare. Yeah, like man, this. I'm loving. I'm loving the first one on the nose, at least. Second yeah, the, one, uh, second one, not so much. <laughs> Third one, these I haven't even smelled yet. I've been impressed oh, man, with the noses on most of these. That one's pretty flat. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta try that. So we'll oh man, but that's okay. Maybe not. That's that's pretty chocolatey. That's kind of cool. Double oak. Yeah, I think the double oak has penetrated the weeder. Now, reaching reaching back out to chat here, going over the four bottles, I'll recap it one more time because we got 92 people in here. <clears throat> we are doing blending right now of the Rare Breed, the Old Forester 100, the Maker's Mark 46, and the Woodford Reserve Double Oak. And we're trying to come up with the best blend we can come up with to submit that will then blind in Jason's channel at uh, at nine here. Man, number two is fantastic on the nose. Wow, I I hope it tastes it tastes as good as it smells. 
mine was like that for number two, but it didn't taste as good as it smelled. <laughs> <laughs> the nose was fantastic. All right, I gotta, I'm gonna start tasting these here. See what we got. Oh man, thirty-eight forty. Holy crap! This, I got, I got a, uh, I got a leader in the pack so far. So, so as we're going through this chat, what's your uh, favorite bottle in this lineup? Is it going to be rare breed, or are you going to pick something else? I'm curious. I mean, for me, it's definitely rare breed, but I, I think, I think that Old Forester one hundred is a close second for me because not a close second, but. I probably reach for that regularly than I would the double oak. The double oak for me is a mood pour because it's so sweet. Yeah. Mm. All right. Sean is going rare breed. What happens if two of you submit the same blend? Then we aren't very creative, Gary. <laughs> But if that does happen, what what was the game? Um, categories. It'd be like categories. You're both out. If you give the same answer, you get no point. <laughs> Do you ever play that game growing up? Do you remember categories? Categories, heck yeah. Does that still exist? Uh, probably somewhere. But I, I definitely remember playing that game. Yeah, yeah. Darrell. I, I think I just got a Darrell situation over here. I got the well, second one. It didn't taste as good as it smells. Yeah, dude, mine smelled so good. And I don't I don't know what really contributed to it. Because I didn't change too much from that one from the first, just a little bit. <coughs> oh, Nancy's in here. Hey Nancy. Hey. Good to see welcome, you. Welcome. We Let's were just talking good. about your pyramid blending just yes, a few minutes ago. Nancy, I'm using your period, uh, the periodical like pyramid method of blending, just base, middle, top. So I don't know, Nancy. I don't remember if you were on the channel when you when we did the uh, <coughs> when we did the uh, the blending of your cigar bat, your cigar blends for Joseph Magnus, and you talked about the pyramid method. So that's my methodology tonight. <laughs> See if it works. So Nancy, when Jason loses, it's mm -hmm. his fault, not yours. He just applied it wrong. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Most likely. Most likely. User error. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. number four. Number four is. Hmm. All right. I, I see you. It smells good, but all right. The one thing that I like that we did here, I know we didn't do it like very consciously ah. when we picked these bottles, but you can't really hide behind proof in your blend. Ooh. I like that. Oh, that's nice. All right. I think one and two, one and four, I think are my favorites here. One and four. Oh, I can't even get my computer to work. But that's pretty cool. We can kind of maybe do that. We, we usually rank noses anyway, too. Um, but yeah, we can probably add that in there. Oh, man. Man. I've gotten one that I really like so far. It might be the submission. How close do you guys think you're getting here? Because we've only got five minutes left with Jason. I'm not oh, saying anything not. that way when I lose. I'm not, when when I I lose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything because that way when I lose, I'm not worried about it. So or I'm eliminating these two. I want to get... I need to do. I want to do one more to have an idea for before I sign off here. That's. I'm doing. I'm doing another one too. So are we are we like completely done with blending once we switch over? Or are we still. No, I mean it? if there's yeah, I mean I go for two hours. So if there's another blend you want to no. go for, go for it. Right. Yeah, I just have to be able to record your blend. So I need to know your recipe will be the thing. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Because then we'll put it in the spreadsheet, and then we'll share that spreadsheet with everybody. So I've got a. A Google Doc that I'll be um, updating here. I'll share it on the screen. And Jason, we can even link that. I'll give you that link. Oh man, that's good. Ooh. Other people want to do it. All Ooh. right, we. That's my winner so far. Let's see if number five changes that. I really hope you make a number six and it wins. <laughs> <laughs> what an ass. <laughs> 
<laughs> then you'll have two number sixes that didn't win, right? No, no. He'll. I want him to make a six blend, and then that six blend to win it all, and then we could say number six was the best. Oh, okay. <laughs> number six. Oh man. Oh jeez. One is really. One of these is really bad. <clears throat> <laughs> now, one of these is really bad. Has anything surprised you guys so far as we're going through this? Has it has your plan that you that you made up front played out, or has it gone to track? Yes, it, mine has. Uh, mine is like I think cool. mine has to. So the last one that I made, uh, kind of the reverse pyramid theory, is actually one of my favorites. So gonna have to see how it shakes out. Oh, wait, what is five? Oh, shit. Five was. Ooh, that ain't bad. Hmm. Man, it ain't bad, but is it a winner? It's got qualities to it. It's got qualities. Oh, I think I jacked this up. The strangest thing in all this, though, is the one that I like the most on the palate, I like the least on the nose. Out of all these noses I've gone through, and I've liked the noses on nearly mm. all of them, and been disappointed. Yeah, the noses, the noses in this. So, if any of you guys are blending at home, the noses on these are actually pretty good uh, throughout. I mean, I think a, a couple are better than others, but I'm surprised at how um, how good the noses are holding up. Um, but yeah, the real the big difference is the palate because that second blend I made, the nose was fantastic, but it did not live up to the hype. So, Jason, you said you wanted to uh, take off about eight fifty. So, whenever uh, you're ready to, uh, yeah, I'll probably out, you, you know, know. I, maybe maybe eight fifty three. Give me a second here. <laughs> yeah, I'm on to something special. Damn it! It's super close between these two. Oh shit! I thought I thought Kelsey was about to be like, damn it! I don't like any of these. I'm starting over. <laughs> well, it could be that too. <laughs> Oh man, that may have worked. Jason, you do me proud with your graduated cylinders. That's right. That's how we work. <laughs> <laughs> My not. I got so some beakers. <laughs> I got some beakers that have milliliters. There you go. Count? Oh man, <laughs> you got a beaker. I got a Bunsen burner in the back. Dude, I yeah. got a bunch these, of little, these are actually pretty cool. They go from like. 10 to 50, and then they have a little small one that goes up to 25 milliliters. They're pretty cool. And they're all glass, so they're easy to clean. So I just got my mini, mini turkey basters. Well, ooh, this nose is good. Oh, man, this turned into peanut butter. How did that happen? Peanut butter. Oh, man. That nose is good. Uh... Oh, number one. Number one, I love you. <laughs> Man, I think I got to go back to the one that I started a couple of rounds ago here. <clears throat> oh, man. All right, that's my number four. I got to add to that. I think I got my I think I think got my submission here. I'm going to go back one more time. Double. I think I got my winning submission, just to be clear. <laughs> You're winning. Okay. Ten milliliters. Oh, that's nice too. Oh, that's very nice. Uh number blend number four just got eliminated. It's between one and this last one I did. All right. These are my two. I have to narrow this down to one. Man, both of these are good. Got to narrow it down to one. You don't get two. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off, get set up, and I'll see you on the flip side. See you soon. See you a little bit, buddy. All right. Send me your recipe, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't – I can't yet. I, give me – I got to test I got to test these. All right. When you're ready. <laughs> All right. Damn it. All right. He seemed pretty confident, guys. We got to take him down. Now, we got 92 people in here. So the thing that we're doing here, if you just joined, we are – doing a live blending competition we are mixing rare breed with old forester 100 
the Woodford Reserve Double Oak and the Maker's 46. You have to use all four in your blends. So this is a four grain bourbon that we are doing on top of the finishing that we got going on between the Double Oak and the 46. And then we're all going right. to submit our best one and blend them again on Jason's channel. We'll blend all four of ours and we're going to blind them against each other. So we'll jump over to Jason's in about nine minutes. The other thing that we do have for today is we're going to do a giveaway for everyone who has been answering Todd Ritter's trivia questions the prior two weeks when we were doing the craft blinds. He's got a prize for you. Either he wants to send you the final four or he's got something else in mind. So we'll see who wins that. Five. But stick okay. with us here. We're just going to wrap this one up. We don't have too much more time to blend anything else, guys. How confident are you guys feeling? Do you guys really like your blend? Are you lukewarm? I like my blend. I like, I like my blend. Two out of the five for sure. Um, I so had two yeah. that were super close. I mean, they're minuscule in differences, um, but it made a big difference in the final on the finish. So uh, I've got mine if you want to take it down, Jeff. You know, I think I got mine as well. I like this one. Though, quite frankly, I was blending at the same time that I was talking, and I have no idea if I actually put the proportions in that I think I put in. <laughs> but I really like whatever the heck I blended, and I hope it is what I wrote down. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, that's funny. All right. Well, let me um, bring up the spreadsheet. up the spreadsheet here. So this is All the right. spreadsheet that we're using. We'll be able to share this link to people as well on Jason's stream so that you guys can follow along and mix these as well. So in terms of a 20 milliliter, why don't you give me the proportions? All right. So wild turkey rare breed is 10 milliliters. 10? Yep. Oh, man. Five milliliters of Old Forester. Three milliliters of Double Oak. And two milliliters of the 46. All right. So as you can see, the numbers fill in as we go, everybody. It's really just multiplied by three. But what we did was create a two-ounce pour, which is 60 milliliters. So if you are playing along at home, you can now make Kelsey's submission and taste it and test it out. So I'm going to get into mine here. So this is where I'm going to go left field. I'm going to go three on the rare breed three what milliliters yep nine on the uh, old forester six on the woodford reserve and two on the makers so imagine you on the makers on that one kelsey but everything else we're, we're different playing field yep Darrell. i'm gonna just go into these two okay um, just give me probably a couple minutes just to decide between the two. So while oh, uh, Darrell is doing that, uh, uh, Dana needs to be a taste tester. I need to make a drink for Dana here. <laughs> nice. Ooh, a winner. Gandy Road says, I'm wondering, five milliliters of Makers, three of Rare Breed, three of Wild the, uh, Woodford, and two of Old Forester. Oh, you went all in on the Makers. That's kind of interesting. What I is that? Make that one now. Wait, point five. Wait, no, no, no. I'm reading. Well, it it's five millimeters. Uh, five milliliters is, I think, is what he's saying. So five. Eight, no, I think he's just saying point five. So half. So okay, okay. I got if you. I just do a quick ten, I can do two. Uh, so it'd be five milliliters of the makers. It's interesting. You went with the makers base, though. Yeah. 30% here, which would just be three. I get to try this one on the blind fly. Shoot, now I'm trying other people's mixtures. And then what was it? Uh, what was the other two proportions, Chelsea? Um, let me go back up here. I took it down. 0. 0.3 Once and 0. 0.2. Okay. Yeah, 0. 0.3 and 0. 0.2. All right. Nancy said, ooh. My God, I really love Rare Breed. Can you pick up some of those nice ISO 
amyl. I can't even say that acetate. I think that's right. Banana esters on the old foe. Um, Ooh. I can get a little bit of it, Nancy, on mine because mine is made up mostly of rare breed and ofo. So I mean, it comes across. I get more of the cinnamon of the ofo than the banana, so to speak. But there's a little bit in it. Tell you what, that Maker's Mark blend, that base is pretty good. So I'm gonna pull up our uh, wheel of names here. So we can do this. So we've got Dave, Shauna, EJ, Bill, Peter, uh, Christopher, David, and Henry Turner in this uh, wheel spin right here. So I'm going to spin this. Now, I didn't see some of these names in chat tonight. So if you're here and you win, let us know. We'll get in touch. Otherwise, if you have a way of getting in touch with them, let us know as well. I don't know anything about whiskey, Alex. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> EJ, set the Canadian. Good to see you in here, EJ. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, he won. I haven't seen. I don't know if I saw him in here tonight or not. I don't know if I saw EJ. But so if I you know, know how to get in contact with EJ, let him know that he won. He was actually asking questions about this last week, but he is the winner of either the blind flight that we'll be doing with Todd in a few weeks, or uh, Todd would give you the offer of a, a bottle as well. Man, I take the flight though. No, for real. Yeah, that definitely. All right, Darrell. Come on, buddy. Record your proportions, buddy. Ah. You only got two minutes left. You want this one again? Yeah. Oh. Dana wants Gandy Rhodes blend here. I'll have to do this even more. Damn. See, the finish on that is absolutely insane, but you are like, like, I was like, what do I go with, right? <clears throat> like a crazy, crazy finish with good taste or like a phenomenal like flavor with a good finish instead of like a crazy finish. You know, it's mm. like, it's like hit or miss because usually like finishes kind of like rule blinds to an extent, but I love the flavors on this one. I'm, I'm going to go with um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go with that, even though God, the other one's really good, too. But so I can give you my proportions. All right. Let's see what you got, Darrell. So 10 milliliters of Woodford Double Oak. Ooh, I like I like this. This is all different angles. Bold. Six, six rib breed. Okay. And two and two. Look at all these different strategies, everybody. And here, in here, Gary was like, "What if you submit all the same thing?" <laughs> I don't think that's happening at this point. So let me see that. It didn't look like it. Two ounce pour. So everybody, you can take a quick snapshot there. I will uh, provide the link as well if you want to get into this. Actually, I can provide it right now. If you want to get into it, I'll send this over to Jason too, so he can put it onto his. But there is the oh, that works. Like spreadsheet four, 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 four. there. That should work. You should be able to view that if you have the link. And hopefully I got the settings right and you cannot edit that. I'm trusting all of you. I'm trusting all 77 of you. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice. Thanks, thanks, Nancy. I know you've been all over the world and doing stuff, but I appreciate that. I do know you're a busy lady. Oh, Jason's in here. Hey, cheers, hey, buddy. Good to see you and tell Brandy if she's by you. Hello for us. Cheers and to both of y'all. Also, tell Brandy we're sorry for last week. <laughs> <laughs> and introducing you. To he already sent me a picture of a bottle that he got. Some <laughs> 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 That's funny. Well, we hit nine o'clock, fellas. So it is right. time for round two. So I'll have to get Jason's proportions here so I can add it to the <clears> spreadsheet <throat> as well. But time right. has expired. Yep. So how thank you guys so you? much. How yeah, confident? I'm, I'm pretty confident. But it just well, depends on palate. I mean, who knows? I'm like somebody else's. I might like Darrell. I like Double Oak a lot. So I'm like yeah. Darrell's a lot. 
So everybody, we're going to go hop over to Jason's channel. We're going to hop over there about, I think he said 915, 920 yeah. is when we will rejoin the stream. So he's got a few things he wants us to talk about off the bat. We may or may but not. we are going to mix each other's <laughs> blends and blind them and then see who wins. And the big thing is in with this is uh, even if you put your blend in first place, you don't get the points for it. You can do that. You can put it in first place, but you don't get the points for it. So you're trying to impress the other three people the most. It's almost like a game of Survivor. Well, let's sign off here, and we'll kick everybody over to Jason. Darrell, why don't you uh, lead the lead the charge? Sure. Uh, cheers, guys. Thanks for joining another Whiskey Wednesday of ours. This is like this is right up my alley. Um, I love like these whole blend ins and blinds. Um, so good, 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 good times. But yeah, just continue to follow us. You can follow me on the Whiskey Saint on IG and just over here on Hello Again Whiskey Friends through YouTube. Um, got a lot of interesting stuff coming up, a lot more guests coming up for the next few Wednesdays. Um, so stay tuned. Continue to follow our journey. It's, it's going to be a blast. All right. Kelsey. Thanks, guys, so much for hanging out with us. And thanks for all the support during the week and the videos. If you guys haven't checked out any of these videos, Darrell just did a new one on Nash Tucky. Make sure you guys check those out. Appreciate all the support. Uh, make sure you guys go ahead and head over to Jason's stream and you can find me at Kelsey Dime on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll throw it back to the main man himself, Mr. Rogers. I mean, Jeff. <laughs> so it is time. I'm going to go get a coffee break here, get caffeinated for the next two hours that will be over on Jason's stream. So jump over to the mash and drum. And as Kelsey said, thank you all for all the support, all the 90 plus people that showed up in here tonight. This was wonderful, and I would be very interested in having some feedback on this concept because we are trying something new and different tonight. Interested to see what people think once it's all said and done. So thank you for joining today, Whiskey Friends. We'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Did you see that, Jeff? Sorry. Uh, MJ here for EJ. Yeah, this one here, too. Yes, it's going to be something like that, but have EJ get in touch with us. Hello dot whiskey dot friends dot wait, that's too many dots <laughs> at gmail.com. You kind of get the point. There's a dot between all the words, but not at the very end. Hello again, whiskey friends dot in betweens gmail.com. Get with us, buddy. We'll catch you later. Goodbye, See you guys. Friend. Jeff, just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends. And you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends. And you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey 